Your Majesty, yesterday we sealed Section 47. I see. This is even faster than the surveys estimated. Furthermore, we've detected surges of geothermal energy in the Royal Precincts. So we can't hold out for long. Even here. The ether flow is the lifeblood of the Titan. The temperature is increasing with its age. Perhaps we should hasten moving the capital to Gormod. We've only just recalled the Consul. And with no good explanation to the Gormoti. We don't want to sow discord for no benefit. It's just, I fear time is running short. Indeed, but not only for us. Gormot is fertile for now, but the harvests have been declining for years. It's like a cry issuing up from the centre of the world. <sighs> Your Majesty, what is it? Nothing. Just my imagination. My sister. Where are you now? The Great Void, it's almost completely gone. After all, the Great Void was Ophion's doing. Yes, indeed. So with Ophion gone, the Great Void could not support itself. If only we were above the surface, we could easily cross. I mean, it doesn't look impossible to climb, but it's nastier than any mountain, that's for sure. Everyone. Here! Hyra! The insides of the World Tree. I'd never have thought. It seems to be an artificial tower enveloped by gargantuan plant life. Seems like we could use this to travel up. Oh. Pyra? What did you do? Honestly, I'm not sure myself. It's like my body is remembering something all by itself. It must be... another power granted to the Master Blade by Father. So, we need to hurry. Why? Well, this was hardwired into my brain. So, Malos must have the same thing. Not good. Seems this is some kind of elevator. That's some fancy glazing. Ooh, you never were good with heights. Shut your eyes. Let's go. You can die when we're done. We made it this far. I don't plan on giving up. Damn. If Judicium hadn't gone down, we might have got you some better treatment. Uh -huh. When human cells are woven into the body of a blade, they awaken strange abilities. That's good enough for me. This'll do fine. Even though she'd hate you for it, right? I know Laura wouldn't have wanted this. Even so, I've got to keep my promise. All right. I'm with you. 
all the way. <sighs> hey, Jin. You better not get sentimental. I found the ruins of Torna, down in Moratha. Oh. There were half-rotted blades there. Couldn't grow into titans. They must have lived on for a while down there. A man once said, live together with the humans. Really, we were just living for the humans. That was what the architect ordained for us. And look what we became. You're still sure about what you want, right? That thing. It's a reminder. To remind me what a fool I was to ever have faith in the architect. And arrived. Oh, this is where we were going. Is in it. Data analysis indicates we have not been here before. Come out, come out. In my experience. And arrived. Oh, this is where we were going. Treasure acquired. You're all mine. And arrived. Oh, this is where we were going. Say, so Rex, do you truly believe that Elysium exists? Do you even have to ask? Don't you, Morag? I don't understand why you'd even be here then. No, that's not what I mean. 
I just wanted to clarify how everyone truly feels. After all, don't most people only know of Elysium from fairy tales? Well, I guess so, but our chum here's seen the real deal in his dreams or whatever, right? There were wide green fields and a warm breeze and a beautiful city like nothing I've ever seen. Pyra was standing on top of a hill overlooking it all. I'm sure it must have been Elysium. There's no place like it in Orest. The place you saw in your dream. Is it prudent to believe in Elysium based on that information alone, I wonder? Don't you trust me and Pyramorak? Oh no, I trust you both. But just because a place exists in your dreams does not necessarily mean it exists in reality. Zeke, can you honestly say you have never doubted Elysium's existence in the slightest? Well, I guess I have wondered from time to time. At the end of the day, the only way to be truly sure is to go there, right? True enough. As for now, Rex believes it's real, and that's enough for me. Aww, Zeke. I mean, sure, it's best for everyone if it does exist, but even if it doesn't, does that really change anything? Our chum's on a mission to help Pyra reach her dream. Whatever the outcome, I want to see that through to the end. A mission. So what if there's no proof? Chasing after dreams is what real men are born to do. Very well. I appreciate your passion. Though I'm not quite sure I understand your notion of a real man. Hey, no worries. You'll figure it out eventually. I mean, you're basically the manliest one here. Zeke, there are some things in this world you don't joke about. Even my temper has its limits. Would you like me to teach you a lesson you won't ever forget? Uh, Morag, you're scaring me a little. Hold it, hold it, I was just joking around. <laughs> L listen nobody needs to die here, okay? Okay? Treasure acquired. This will be a walk in the park. It's Double no. spinning. Yes, yes, the it. no. Focus. Everyone's getting I'm the star player. Gotcha. One shot. Everyone's getting the star something right. My power flows in one I up. Hey, Poppy. How many points does Tora get for that one? Cuteness insufficient. Five points. Tora thinks QT settings are too strict. You're all mine. Come out, come out.
Rex Rex look worried. Maybe Rex Rex lost wallet? It's not that. Oh, I see. Well, maybe your worry is your wallet's empty. Well, that's true. I don't work much these days. Hey, why are you so interested in my finances all of a sudden? What is up with you, kid? You've been a right gloomy guts lately. Hmm. I was thinking about Amalthus. If what Jin said is true, the Praetor doesn't just hate blades, but humans too. I mean, he basically hates the whole world, seems like. How so? In old Torna, humans lived together with blades that eventually became titans. So destroying Torna was the same as destroying the titans. Amalthus must have known that the Titans have been dying off over the last few centuries. Cannot live without Titans! Everybody go bye-bye! Maybe the Praetorium saw it as an obstacle to their power. If the Blades were becoming Titans and creating new land, people might have more faith in the Blades. If a new faith emerged, it would threaten the Praetorium and its dogma. I understand that much. That's just war and politics. But... Rex? Hating people, hating yourself. Where does it end? What do you do when you hate the whole world? You mean... Destroy it. That's all that's left. Tell me I'm wrong. That's a leap of logic, but I think a lot of mortals are like that. Do you remember? Talking to the Praetor. I said it felt like talking to Malos. Yeah, you did say that. It's a funny thing. Malos and the Praetor, they want the same thing. Mother... Emmy? What is it? Leaving you alone in the world like this. I failed you as a mother. Huh? But... Mother! Forgive me. Stay gone! <laughs>
Mother. Your Eminence, we'll be exiting the Cloud Sea shortly. What? Below. A dark mass in the Cloud Sea. It's... What? Troka, prepare the defenses. I'll analyze the threat. I'm on it! You need a counterattack, damn it! Stop trying to give orders and get to it! Ugh! Ugh! Where's Mikhail? What a time to let us down! Mikhail's down below. Below? But... Got it! A bypass to the cannons. Watch this, scum. Ready? Ready. The ship will get you as far as the boundary layer. We can drop you and Malos off there. We'll have to. All rest ships can't make it past the boundary layer. Yeah. No sweat. Jin, you are okay with this, right? Mikhail. Hmm? Take care of Laura. Jin? Akos, fire up the blade bots. Time to strike. Jin! Malos! Indol. They got here sooner than we thought. They gave up on the boy pretty quick. No surprise. Hatch open. Ready to launch. Okay. Launch! And arrived. Oh. This is where we were going. This will be a walk in the park. I Double was never spinning. One shot. Man. Let me take it. You must leave it to Tori. Let me show it. you a no. thing or two. Man. Ha. No. This is where we prove ourselves. Focus. Hold on. Right. 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 One shot. Right. My power flows Man. one with time. Double Man. spinning edge. Yeah. Rolling smash. Got a shot. Double spinning edge. Lightning. 
Happy Cutie Pie! Happy Cutie Pie! Why not? You're mine! Boom, boom, Everything laser. going as planned. Jump the enemy's element is now fire. fire. Focus! Tornado's team is in the middle. I shall defend you like a lightning bolt. Enemy is getting distracted. Poppy! All power to weaponry systems! Blow protocol. Blade combo, third stage. Awesome. I'll take Second you all off. Second shot, topple! Good to have you here. Ha! Hold on, let's go! 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 let us I guess I really them. am the best. Poppy will show Just you the truly smart. I everything you the 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 Magnificent! Why not? Up. Morning. Let us face the day with a renewed vigor. Treasure acquired.
treasure acquired. Erasing. Open up! Coochie coochie coo! Opening protocol engaged. Let's clear this up quick. A positive attitude with Iron that. Heart beats in Poppy's chest. Well, no way I'd ever have guessed the world tree was like this on the inside. It definitely appears to be man-made. Created by the same civilization as Moritha. The birthplace of the architect. That's what Jin called it. Then maybe the architect built this thing. Do you really think we're going to find him at the top? And Elysium too? From what we saw in Moritha, it seemed like all that stuff happened a gazillion years ago. Or maybe two gazillion. I don't know. Not even Titans live that long. Even Pyra and Mithra have never actually met him. But this tower's right here. It's real. So... Seeing is believing, is the phrase. Hmm? We'll just have to find out for ourselves. There's no use speculating. Mia, what's wrong? His tummy started rumbling. Oh, Father. Every time with you, it's, have you lost your wallet? Or, are you hungry? Is that really all you can think of? Meh. Tora thought food is only thing that makes Mia all, um, growly, growly. Watch it, Furball. What is Mia's problem? That's not a nice way to ask, Poppy. But I let it slide. There's something I want to ask you, Blades. Tell the truth. Have you ever wanted to extend your life? Avoid returning to our cores? Yeah. That's a tough question. I would like to keep learning about my former selves, but to keep living after Morag is dead, Oh, I'm sorry. No, I understand. <sighs> the idea of living on without her does not appeal to me. Yeah, same here. I want my memories of the prince to be just between us. You're going to make me blush, Pandy. Jomak? As long as I'm by my lady's side till the end, then I'm satisfied. Poppy is artificial blade, so it is very sad for me to think about. When Master Pawn is gone, Poppy will be widow. Meh. Well, not quite. But I get where you're coming from. Pyra? Well, I... It's different for you, right? You've been alive for a few centuries. Did I ask you? Pyra, what do you think about it? Really? Hey. Sometimes I wonder why I have to keep on living forever. Just on and on, no end in sight. But it's different now. I'm glad I've stayed alive all this time. Parting is always sad. But it's just part of the deal of being me. Though... Maybe... Maybe one day I'd be happy to close my eyes forever. With someone special. There. By my side. Pyra. That's how Pyra. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sharing with me. So, what made you ask? I'm a flesh eater. So, I don't know how long I'll live for. I mean, for all I know, I might just sniff it tomorrow. 
My lady. But I can say this much. My life and death isn't tied to any human. And? It's Jin. I've been wondering. Jin was collecting core crystals. But why didn't he use them? Doesn't he hate humans? He could use them to create blades, then turn them into flesh eaters. He could expand Torna with no need for humans in the mix. They do lack numbers. Is that all of them? Yeah. It's just the five of them. That's it. When Malos suggested getting Obrona and Akos to resonate, Jin was dead against it. So I think maybe... Maybe Jin fears the same way as us. The same way as us? I think maybe that's why he won't resonate with anyone. An explosion? A battle, perhaps. So, this is what the world tree is really like. These... they aren't leaves. They're glyphs. Hey, look! An old, torn warship. Didn't think there'd be any of those left. Never mind that. What's this? I had no idea Indol could make it up this high. Cloud sea, long way down. It appears that Indol has modified their Titan as old Temperantia did with theirs. But that much firepower. I did not know Indol possessed so much force. No need to ask what they plan to do with it. They anticipated it. That Jin and Malos would try to ascend. So, Jin is inside that thing? Yes, no doubt. Let's hurry. We can't let them make it to Elysium. You know you can't control it. I hear you've been promoted. By the Praetor. You? 
Why? <laughs> Just thought I'd come and say goodbye. Would you rather I leave without saying anything? Goodbye? What would compel you to leave me? You are my... I've got full control of all my powers now. It doesn't matter if you die. I can keep on going. What are you saying, Malos? The Praetorium, the Believers, I despise them all. Humans aren't fit to breathe our air. So, I'm going to give you what you always wanted. But I never... I'm clearing out the worthless. Isn't that why you sought the Architect? Why you climbed the World Tree? Yet look at you now. There must be someone out there who can use this core. I'll send them after Malos. Hey, look what I found! Congratulations! Indoline warrior monks. To the Aegis and her driver, we're here to pass on an order from his eminence. You are to use the Aegis's power to bring down that ship. Huh? What's wrong? This is your duty, Pilgrim. My only duty is to open the way to the World Tree. You cannot do it? If so, then we must take the Aegis into custody. I get it now. They just wanted to use Mithra's power to burn up their little problem. Nothing new under the sun. I didn't say we couldn't do it, but we have to stop Jin. Tell you, boss, that's what we're doing, okay? We don't negotiate holy decrees. If you don't comply, then prepare for righteous chastisement. I okay. can do this alone. Time you know. to take oh, him down. Yet. Double spinning egg. The main element is right. We can do it. Not like this. this. Try to keep it up. Come on, you're in. Double spinning egg. Let me show you. Get ready. Come on, you're in. Double spinning egg. Let me show you. Get ready. You're coming. Double spinning egg. 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 Ha! Double spinning edge! Rolling smash! Double Eagle spinning line. edge! Sora will do Shit. it! Go for it! Break! Poppy will show Lightning. you the true power! Just Why up. not? Good! Meh! Double spinning edge! Rolling Sora, smash! Do it. Double spinning edge! Copy the red level is significant! Time wow. to shine! Rolling smash! I shall defend the Wing Wing last, my lady. We are in Copy Time to shine! Double spinning edge! Rolling smash! They're gonna tell the Praetor... ...that we're... Huh? Bridget! Uh, yeah. Mithra! Zumak. What are something, someone? 
this effect? Can it be? Please forgive my interference. Time runs short. Uh, a Malthus. <sighs> That's Hazes' core crystal, Van Lanorn's. Oh, that's it, all right. The other half. What is it? Nia? Uh, Amalthus. He took Van Lenorn's core crystal. He's using her power. God! Not only that, this is in fact my original primal power. Mitra! The... the artifice! Uh, no! Stop! Mitra! Mitra! Is that the artifice? Is it the Aegis? <laughs> no. But who? Amalthus. Amalthus? He's my driver, and I'm an Aegis. If that energy gets any stronger, you won't just control the blades, but Mithra too. <sighs> Amalthus, you never disappoint. I am the driver of the Master Blade. Bow before me, the Master Driver. I possess the power to command all blades! Every blade alive. Indeed, even the very Titans are under my control. That must be how he repelled the attack. Sooner or later, he'll control us too. Don't worry, half-breeds like you won't come under his control. Sure, he can dampen your power. But that's why we built those things. Kyle's creations will not submit to Amalthus's control. And neither will this bucket of bolts. We're nearly at the boundary layer. Jin, Malos, get ready. Roger. Malos, let's move. Yeah. Mikhail, Akos, Petroka. It's up to you now. Sure. Yeah, we get it. Hey, when you see our daddy, dear, tell him thanks for everything from me. Rex, the Tawner ship stopped moving. Looks to me like they're gonna try and get inside. Amalthus, we're gonna stop Jin, but you've gotta stop this. You're speaking nonsense, boy. Now is the hour of their doom. You leave me no choice but to perform your duty for you. Destroying Jin and Tawner? We're only trying to stop them, not kill them. You believe you can sway them with words of reason? Well, yes! Jin told me what happened, what happened 500 years ago. And you were the cause of it, weren't you, Praetor? I was nothing but the mouthpiece of the architect. When I meet him, I'll ask him myself. About me, about Pyra and Mithra. That is not your right! It is mine! <laughs> ah, you resist? Again? You defy me again? Amalthus, 
You won't get what you want. I'm... I'm... Rex's blade! That's right. Rex, you're the Aegis's driver. There's nothing he can do that you can't. Does that mean... Rex, it's true. Power depends on the heart of its wielder. Right? I'm okay. I... I won't let him get away with this anymore. He's just manipulating humans and blades alike. That's not the Architect's will at all. Give it up, Amalthus! You can leave Jin and the rest to us! Where are they? The tree. Soon Malos will activate Ion. If we can hold this position and prevent the scum from ascending, then victory is ours. Okay, then. We've got to go all out! The Vortex! Your Eminence, the Tower. At peace, brother. The field of effect is only a little reduced. Hmm, it is drawing near. Gather the brothers together. We must exterminate the vermin! No soul alive. They sully! The Architect's presence! <laughs> 